This is Witchspace News for Friday the 28th of August 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...there's something in the 300th Elite Dangerous newsletter today ...Ion changes hands and Frontier Developments has an absolute announce fest. If you enjoy this video remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. Some point today should see the release of the 300th formerly weekly now bi-weekly newsletter for Elite Dangerous. To mark the event Frontier announced on social media that they're doing something special for the newsletters subscribers. What that something is we have literally no idea but we're guessing you'll need to be a subscriber to the newsletter in order to benefit or see the thing whatever it is. The newsletter is actually quite informative and useful by the way signposting as it does community goings on, artwork and news and general happenings so if you're not signed up already there's a link in the description to sort that out for you. Frontier has given away exclusive ship skins to newsletter subscribers before so it's definitely worth your while for that reason if nothing else. The Inner Orion Network YouTube channel which was launched by YouTuber the pilot just a few weeks ago has this week after a short period of spotty content delivery been passed on and taken over by prominent elite streamers Crispy Tater Tot, Grinning Crow and Mouth of the Win. The channel had previously canvassed the community on Reddit to post their own elite themed stories that would then be presented and voiced on YouTube as a sort of community created Galnet alternative. What the plan is under the new management we don't yet know but there is no doubting the quality of the work produced by the three streaming luminaries that have taken over the running of Ion so it'll be fascinating to see where they see it heading and where it now goes. You'll find links below so that you can subscribe to Ion itself and also to the channels for Crispy, Crow and Mal so you can follow them on Twitch. All three are just fantastic streamers so do please check them out if you haven't already. And finally after a few days of cryptic teases on social media in the run up to the Gamescon virtual event Frontier have finally ripped the coverings off three of their new upcoming titles. Firstly Jurassic World is coming to the Nintendo Switch. It's a great game which will work beautifully on that platform so that was good to see. The big announces however were a couple of really innovative and very unique titles. Firstly a super weird cooperative physics based puzzle platformer which is available right now called Struggling and secondly a player versus player fast paced game called Lemnis Gate that describes itself as a revolutionary turn based combat strategy first person shooter that takes place in a 25 second time loop with the players repeating the same loop over and over and attempting to change the history of what came before thereby affecting the future outcome of the loop as it recycles. Whilst the Jurassic World port is obviously Frontier developed the last two titles are the first moves from Frontiers new publishing arm Frontier Foundry and were in fact both developed by outside companies. The platformer struggling is actually the title that the former Elite Dangerous community frontman Will Flanagan went to work on earlier this year. Clearly interesting times at Cambridge Towers and it'll be fascinating to see how the publishing arm grows from this innovative start. Lemnis Gate is still slated as coming soon whilst Struggling is available right now on Steam and Nintendo Switch. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.